Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. <gasps> and coffee, it is chilly today. It's like 50 degrees out there and cold and windy. And yesterday it was in the 70s and I rode my bike. Crazy spring weather. But I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. Let's put our coffee up here and get to it. It's a pretty big haul. So I'll show you all the things that I purchased. All right, I got some of these S hooks. I grabbed a two pack of them. Um, somebody had left a comment, I'm sorry, I don't remember who it was, to use these to hang like bags and purses and belts and stuff. And I thought that was fantastic. So I'll put them in my closet, try to hang up some purses and things on them. If that doesn't work out, I can always use it to hang my ladder in the garage. Lots of uses for these and two of them for a dollar and they're pretty sturdy, which is nice. And they are just as metal garden hooks. So I grabbed two of those. So really it gave me four of those. All right, I have to move. I found some of this TP. Um, smells like lavender. Don't squeeze the Charmin but it does, it smells good. I'm wondering if I can just leave this sit on the counter and make my bathroom smell good. So I just grabbed one pack of that. It's not, I don't feel like the best value, but it's lavender. So that is exciting. <gasps> Look what I found. It's a cat sign and it says catitude. Look how big that is. This is chonky. Now, you could leave it like that. You could turn it around, get this, this off, paint it a solid color or whatever, but I like it. I think it's awesome. So I got the Catitude sign for my boys, and that'll go probably on my mantle this summer or maybe in my tiered tray or on the coffee table behind me. The coffee table behind me is gonna get a facelift when I get my new furniture. That won't be delivered until the 28th. Um, I grabbed a pack of combs, May 28th for the new furniture. <laughs> Look at all these combs. But I bought them for a reason. I'm going to be backpacking and I just need one, you know, little comb to take to control the hair while we're out. Um, and you want something tiny and lightweight. So probably this one will go with me, but you know, you need combs in your life and I don't have any. So I just grabbed a pack. I think it comes with 12 different sizes and shapes of comb. So I grabbed a pack of combs. Um, so if you've ever been backpacking, you want lightweight little tiny stuff because you gotta carry it all on your back. So that's why that. And then I also purchased this because I want the little knife and scissors to put in my backpacking kit. And probably the Q-tips too. Um, but you always want a little knife and scissors are great. Like I'll bring some, it's called Luco tape. If I get any blisters, put it on my blister and I'll need something to cut it. So I grab this and this will just stay with my backpacking stuff. I won't take the plastic container. And you know what? I'll make you a video of what I'm taking backpacking. But I needed that little, um, the little knife in there and the little scissors because they'll be perfect for everything that I could possibly need them for. Isn't that adorable? I thought this would be perfect for 4th of July. It's just a little tin bucket or Christmas, but I'm thinking 4th of July or Memorial Day. If I ever get to have company over again, put silverware in here. Maybe I'll try to find the blue one, like just a solid blue, and then I could put some white stars on it. I thought that would be perfect for cutlery or put napkins in it if we cook out. But I thought it was perfect and then reuse it at Christmas time. So I thought that was great for a dollar. I like these little buckets. They used to sell them at the dollar spot at Target all the time, but I haven't seen them in there in a while. Um, I did also pick up this super glue tape. It's double-sided tape and it supposedly holds 20 pounds. We'll see, but I thought that was a perfect uh, for crafting and stuff and putting things together. Eventually I will start hanging things on my walls, but I'm waiting until I get furniture to hang up stuff after painting. Hi, Dubs. Somebody came to say hello. Hi, baby. No, no. Why don't you say hi to our friends? Say hi. <laughs> okay, there you go. They haven't had dinner yet and they're not happy with me, but it, you know, they can wait a little bit. Okay, look up, Bubs. 
I also picked up two more of these. These are the planter bottoms. They are waterproof. So if you, like I use some in the house, in my kitchen area on my wood floor, I put the big pots in here and when I water, the water comes out of the bottom of the pot. One of them is a terracotta and it just kind of seeps out. The other one has the drain holes and this keeps the water from touching my floor and it makes it easier to move them around because they're on wheels. But I love it for the fact that I'm not getting water all over my floor. Um, I have several, but I grabbed two more. I thought I could use these outside with those big pots I just purchased. And yeah, I liked the green. I thought it would look good with the terracotta. Cause you know, that's how we roll and pulling stuff out of this bag. I've got a bag over here. I'll show you in a minute. Um, I grabbed one of these chamois cloths. Um, this is also for backpacking, but what I will do is cut like a small square. I don't need the whole thing. Again, weight is a consideration, but we're going to be out a couple nights and this is good for any type of cleanup, any type of moisture, you know, they absorb pretty good and then they squeeze out and they dry relatively quickly. And it says it holds five times um, it's weight in liquid and that is great for backpacking and again like I said I'll just cut like a small four by four square and keep it in with my cooking stuff so if I need to do any kind of cleanup I'll have it and I won't have to bring a big towel with me so that'll go for backpacking backpacking look at I'm making piles over here guys and the combs are for backpacking whichever comb I decide to bring with me Okie dokie. Oh, I found these. I love these. I love these stickers. Now they are wood. The green ones are just plain green. The yellow ones are glittered and these aren't painted at all. And hi buddy. And on the back they have little sticker dots. Hi buddy. But you can peel the little sticker dots off if you want to hot glue them down or make like a magnet out of them. It would be really cute. Just glue a, a magnet to the back. And actually, I might make one to uh, make a needle minder for my cross stitch. Hi. Somebody wants some attention right now. So, yeah, you can make anything you want out of them. They're, they're wood, and I love it. You can paint them, stain them. You can even sand these off and repaint them. But for a dollar, I thought that was a fantastic bargain. I picked up these Organza little bags. Now, I bought them for my nails. These fake nails for the extras, but then I found a different I, a different product to put them in. But this, um, these are great if you're especially like gifting jewelry or small little things, because these are just delicate little organza bags. They pull tight, you're not gonna lose things. You get eight of them for a dollar, which I think is pretty fantastic. And they come in multiple colors. So these are great. And if you don't like the yellow, you could pull the yellow ribbon out and put a different ribbon in there. I don't know how easy it would be, but it can be done. I would just leave the yellow. But these come, I think, in pink, blue, and white. These are from the baby section or the baby party section. So that's great for my crafting. I also grabbed these in the party section. I love these little gift bags, especially if you're gifting like stickers or little flat things, cookies, anything like that. You could put in here, fold it down, tape it shut. I do make stickers for my planner and I make some for Sarah. Maybe I'll make some for the channel and gift them. Um, and give them as a giveaway, but they would be perfect in these little um, parchment. I think these are parchment or some type of paper. They don't, they're not waxed. So I think if you put a cookie, it might, like I would put the cookie in a plastic wrap and then put it in the bag and then you can fold them down and tape them shut. But yeah, you get 14 bags for a dollar. I think that was a pretty fantastic deal. I liked that. And I love having these. I have a big drawer plastic drawer thingy and I have one that has all my gift bags and tissue paper and plastic cello bags and then I'll put these in there for when I'm wrapping gifts and presents and stuff I can just reach into that drawer and have little things like this so I love that fantastic so I got a lot of questions on my last video if I ever tried the Dollar Tree fake nails and I have not so I have picked up a package of them to try I don't, I'm just a little nervous on the glue on my fingernails, but we'll see. 
and I bought the glue. So we'll see. It's probably been since high school that I put glue on nails. These impressed nails, let me tell you, I'm impressed. This, I just changed them today. I'll have a video out tomorrow to show you how I changed it. But these, this set here, I just put on today and the last set lasted two weeks and a day. So Saturday, yesterday was two weeks that I had that other set on. I only had to replace two nails that lifted. Not bad when you get 30 in a box. In here you get, you only get 12 nails. So I may have to buy a second set depending on sizing. And then I got the, the nail glue to go with it. So we'll see, those will go up in my, in my beauty stuff. I mean, I don't really have a beauty room. I have a beauty stuff. Okay, now I know, I know what you're saying. I can hear you. I don't need more notebooks, but I did need this notebook. Oh my gosh, you guys, it feels like fake leather. This is like stitched on. It's lined paper. The only thing that would make this one better is if it wasn't lined and I could draw little pictures. But it is so pretty. It's a soft pink with a big unicorn. Oh, guys, I love it. And they had another one that had like an orange dog cat. I'm not really sure what the animal was, but I liked the unicorn because it's whimsical, and not, but not glittery. Kind of feels boho to me. And I would say 60 pieces if I had to guess how many sheets of paper. But um, this is going in my purse for note taking, mostly probably for grocery lists and things I need to pick up when I'm out running errands. So I grabbed one of those. Now, are you sitting down? Because they have new patterns out on the traveler's notebooks. And again, very boho feel, look at that. It's got the purple all the little design and they're all the same on the inside. They have the two notebooks. And the beauty is you can switch out these notebooks. They're not permanent in here. This is an elastic. They just slide underneath the elastic. So if you want to write in them and you like to write flat like I do, I can pull this out, write on it and then slide it back in. Isn't that fantastic? I love these. So I grabbed this pattern. And then they have this one with the um, rainbows, front and back. And then the inside is just the same. The insides are all the same, but, oh, Kefir. I love that one. And this one might be my favorite. Look at that with the pink. Guys, I love it. Oh, and the soft pink rubber band. I love these. So I think we should do a thumbnail. What do you think? How about over here? I love them. I'm keeping them for me. I better start writing a lot. Maybe I need to write a book, girl, because I got lots of stuff. Okay, I grabbed one of these. I really enjoy this. This is P orange peach mango, 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C. These are great too. They're very refreshing. So I enjoy this a lot. So I grabbed one of those. I just like to stack, you know, stock up on that kind of stuff. Oh, I do have one more set of stationery. I grabbed one of these little zippy bags and it comes with, a tiny little pen and then it has in here this little sticky note and then it just says thoughts on it and I would say 10 pieces but guys a little sloth sticky note like come on isn't that adorable and then this tiny little notebook that just says notes oh I mean honestly if I had little people these would be the perfect stocking stuffers for girls especially. I know boys like to write, but little girls love this stuff. Or my little girls, nieces and stuff. Love this stuff. So I may grab an extra for Sarah's stocking. Sarah's my niece. She's 30, but she's still my little niece. So yeah, I love these. These are so fun. Now I will tell you the stickies aren't the best with the Dollar Tree sticky notes, but if you have a um, tape roller, that's what I use. If I need to hold them in place, I just tape it down, but they're adorable. It's a sloth. It's cute. 
so I did grab that. So somebody who said I don't need any more office supplies. Yeah, oops. I did it again. <laughs> um, I saw these. I think her name is Denise on her channel. She found the tortoise shell print earrings. Now, I got the littlest ones that they had. I don't like huge earrings, but they do have big hoops. Uh, my recommendation, this is what I do. On cheap earrings like these, I paint the stem with clear nail polish and let it dry completely. And then I usually put two coats on because I'm very sensitive in my ear holes to um, cheap, like fake stuff. So I don't think these are hypoallergenic if I had to guess, cause they're a dollar. So I will do that, but look at them. And they had them in white as well, but I just really love the tortoise shell. I think this is gonna be so fun for summertime. I'll have to wear them for you guys. Okay, hi buddy, what can I do for you? Okay, um, I found these, and this is not new, but I've not picked them up before. So I saw them at one store and there was only two in the package. And I was like, that's bizarre. Cause I know I've seen them with three and I feel like at one point they had four. So when I was at the last Dollar Tree that I went to for this haul, they had some with three and some with two. So I'm assuming this is another one of their, they're gonna downsize it to two for a dollar. So I grabbed the three for now because um, I thought for fall these, I love using cotton in like, hi. I help you in wreaths and stuff and I think these are just perfect they're cute I love them they're very realistic um as far as I am concerned and they have some wiring on the back if you want to kind of put them on a wreath or you could just put them in a you know a floral display okay buddy um I grabbed another pack of these Job's um plant house plant food I just went around and put them in my plants but it looks like I probably should stick some more in a few, but every 60 days. But I have some pretty large pots that it looks like if the pot diameter is four inches, you need two. So I need to go through and like actually read the directions and put some more in my pots. But for now, I put one in each of them just to see how they work. But yeah, got some fertilizer. They, From what I've heard, they work fantastic. And, you know, that's a really good deal for a dollar i used to use liquid fertilizer but if i can stuff some of these in my pots um i think that's a fabulous hi buddy can i help you thank you so i love a good straw and these are not paper they are these are um compostable straws they're made out of plant-based supply materials so these can be composted um it says compostable where commercial composting facilities are available um, Everholder is the company and you get 100 straws in this package. And I thought that's fantastic. I love a straw, especially in the summertime. So I grabbed that package, one package for now. We'll see. I'm going to use them and see if I like them. Um, I grabbed this. It's like a little, I don't know, they're calling it like a little coin purse. But quite frankly, I think this would be perfect for like, chapstick or so I use a lot of sunblock sticks for my face in the summertime so I like to have little little bags to put loose things in especially like chapstick in my moisturizer or the sunblock stick that I, I'm reapplying all the time and if I keep them all together in a little pouch then I know exactly where it's at and it's adorable and it says summer because it's a watermelon it's all padded too it's super cute but I mean, I think it would definitely hold the little things that I needed to hold and throw in my purse. So when I, especially, I'm very prone to burning my lips in the summertime, not okay. So I have to keep my chapstick that has sunblock in it handy. So that's what that's for. It'll go in my purse this summer. For that, I found these and they came, they shrunk their packaging. Definitely cut the size of the packaging in half. But they're the same, 38. They're the pre-measured zip top bags. I love these for putting snacks and stuff in. They're fantastic for that. So I grabbed that. We just have a couple more things. Um, some more tissue. <laughs> Fun fact, I was out today and I was at um, Dick's Sporting Goods. And I had to go to the bathroom. 
So I run into the bathroom and I do my business and there's no toilet paper. So I was like, okay, plan, what am I doing? And then I was like, girl, you're a grandma. You got tissues in your purse. Sure did, busted out the tissues. And I was like, saved by the tissue container. And thank goodness that I always have tissues with me because of my nose. So that saved my day today. But I was out of the little packages for my car. So I just picked up, picked up one more. I love having these handy in the car because then I can just grab them when I need them. Um, typically, they're for on the go, like in my purse. But I keep them in my car. In my car car, I have a, a normal size box of tissues because this nose is for real sometimes. So I have tissue stashed all over my life. Right there, buddy boy. Um, I picked this up for Sarah. It is Chilled Treats, Mixed Chill and Top Lemon Mousse. I've never seen these before. It's a four pack, chills in five minutes. So there are little cups in here and you mix one pouch of mousse and milk in an eight ounce glass or mug. So there's not cups or packets. Stir for one minute, chill, squeeze the pouch topping on top. Oh. She's gonna have fun with that. So I grabbed that for her. Now these are only good until July of 21. She'll eat them before then, but yeah. You always just wanna check your dates on these, so I'll let her know, hey, eat these up. And I'm, I actually have a bag over there that's going to her house. So I did that. And I got two more things. I found these in the pet section. Now what they are is LED collar lights. So you can hook them on your dog, you can turn the light on, and then you'll see your dog at nighttime if you're outside walking. I think these would be fantastic for children and backpacking. Also for my pets. So fun fact, again with the fun fact, when I went backpacking the last time with my friend Jen, I might have been the last time, a couple of times before, irrelevant. I was backpacking with Jen and we were staying in a shelter. So it's three sided, the front's open and there's all, you know four shelters in our little area. And this um, two people came through with their black lab and he had like his own little backpack on, so cute. So we were getting ready and we have our fire going and we're chilling out, it's about time to go to bed and we see this light glowing through the field, like through the, little area around us and I was like what is that I was freaked out yeah it was the dog and they had a glow stick on his collar so they could see him I was like that is adorable but instead they could have one of these and honestly in the summertime if you're outside with your kids doing whatever hook it on their backpack put it on their shoe I mean yeah I don't know how long they last it says three light modes um, I think there's a battery pack in the back. Let's take one open. Let's open one and see. But I thought this was a fantastic thing to have, especially in the summertime. So, oh, I can't get it open. I can't get it open. Wait, I got it open. Okay. Oh, so you get that one. Oh, three modes so you get so solid so it's not even too uh, intrusive flashy flashy slow flashy and off I thought that was fantastic and honestly this would be great if you are night outside at night doing anything and you want to keep track of your people or your pets I think these are pretty great and they do come with the little lobster claw so you can hook it on and take it off and I believe there is a battery that goes in the back I'm trying to open it and see I don't know, for a dollar, I grabbed two because I thought, you know, that's fantastic for summertime, keep them safe. And then the last thing I found is the rose gold shopping bag. I like this one. I like the shape of it and the bottom. Um, I like, it's very sturdy. This is very heavy duty fabric. You could honestly cut this and craft with it if you, you know, if you enjoyed it that much. You could do that. I love it and I think it's pretty wonderful. And they had it in a couple colors. I think I saw a blue and a silver. Also would make a great gift bag for somebody who likes rose gold. Oops, sorry, buddy. 
All right, that is everything I got this week at the Dollar Tree. So I hope you enjoy and I will talk with you later.